Everyone thinks Karen Reed getting a mistrial or Michael Proctor being relieved is the story. Well, not even close. This is the story that needs to be talked about. So welcome to the point. Let's get to it. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. I avoided Karen Reed's trial on social media. I wanted to avoid as much speculation, rumors, and hearsay as possible. I wanted to see if I could get some sort of proof that there was this vast conspiracy against Karen Reed. Or actual proof Karen Reed did what she's accused of doing. And if fair coverage in an open conversation is something you prefer, subscribe to this channel and hit that like button down below. Because I got neither of those things from this trial. The only proof I walked away with is John O'Keefe was not hit by that car. And it was all based off this moment right here. Based on your extensive training and experience, what is your opinion regarding whether those injuries are consistent with being struck, with an individual being struck by a vehicle? If she means struck in that part of the body on the arm. Yes. Directly. I would say no, it doesn't look like that at all. Last question. Doctor, uh, in your expert opinion, based on all your testing, is the damage to the taillight that you saw consistent with striking the human head? No. In your expert opinion, is the damage to the taillight consistent with striking the human arm? No. Thank you. That's all I have. Well, that's not the point of this video. And those absolutely absurd text messages have drawn a whole lot of attention. Just imagine what's going through Proctor's mind at this moment right here. She's a whack job. See you. So don't spell it. You have to. So this, these are your words, Trooper Proctor. Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead and say them. Uh, yes, yeah, she's a babe. Weird Fall River accent, though. Said the Alberts beat the out of O'Keefe, left him. F and that's why her taillight was cracked. She's gross. Trooper to Chico. Oh, f her. And yes, a bad apple does spoil the bunch. So when we find bad apples, it is very important to pull that thing out and give it a close inspection. But Proctor's idiotic text messages that came to light are not the point of this video either. He's just a product of the orchard he grew at. And that apple had no choice but to be bad. Here's the point of this video. Massachusetts State Police Trooper Michael Proctor, lead investigator in the Karen Reed passing case, has been relieved of his duties effective immediately. Upon learning today's result, the department took immediate action to relieve Trooper Michael Proctor of duty and formally transfer him out of the Norfolk County District Attorney's Office State Police Detectives Unit. An MSP spokesperson wrote in a Monday night statement, this follows our previous decision to open an internal affairs investigation after information about serious misconduct emerged in testimony at the trial. The investigation is ongoing. Now to everyone who gets mad that I don't dive in head first into one conclusion or another, do you see now why I try to be fair? Statements like that are why we should question everything, even question the stuff that we agree with to make sure it's correct, or at least we have some sort of reason to believe what we believe. Did you hear what MSP just said? Upon learning today's result. So if the result was, let's say, Karen Reed was found guilty. Y'all are good? Nothing to see here, folks. We're just going to have ourselves a little internal investigation, give this guy a slap on the wrist, and keep it moving. What a complete joke of a statement by MSP, in my own opinion. They condemn Proctor's words in the strongest way imaginable. Who on earth is buying this crap? I mean, you have to be kidding me. His words are condemned? Really? That's the problem here? The O'Keefe family has already suffered tremendously. Long before John had passed, that family has already went through tremendous heartache and pain. And we may never actually know what happened that night. All because MSP is strongly condemning John Proctor's words. They're not going to condemn this botched investigation. They're not going to condemn this improper evidence gathering. They're not going to condemn the complete lack of chain of custody or anybody willfully ignoring any type of SOP. Now let me save everybody the time who is about to type in some sort of comment that says I hit him, I hit him, I hit him, hashtag back the blue. 
I know a large number of police officers, and every police officer I know has respect for the law, and they're a good person. But I do not back the blue. I back truth and justice. I'll back every single one of your rights as citizens, but I'm not going to back a color or a particular uniform just because it happens to be there. These individuals are scrutinized at a higher level than anyone else because we have higher expectations for them. And if you can't get on board with that, then you certainly don't need to be in law enforcement. You need to do better because we expect better. We depend on you. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You can let me know down in the comments below. But here's what's got me upset. MSP just spit in the face of the O'Keefe family, in my own opinion. Publicly, they want everybody to think that they just found out about all this nonsense during the trial. But let's keep a couple things in mind here. The defense got all this information last and they received it from the prosecution. The prosecution got it from MSP. So MSP has had all this information the entire time. And they wanted to wait till the jury had reached some type of verdict before they would go on this whole dog and pony show. To me, it looks like they didn't want to make anybody else look bad. To me, it looks like they didn't want the jury to know that there was an issue with this guy. Is that not how we should look at this thing? Or is anybody seeing it differently? Because to me, this is a problem. It's an absolute huge problem, and here's why. Law enforcement isn't supposed to be out there just to get a conviction. DAs aren't supposed to be doing their job just to get a conviction. Those people are paid to bring justice to these families. This is why they're supposed to question things, right? This is why they're supposed to examine the evidence and see where the evidence takes them. They're supposed to follow the clues. MSP and everyone involved knew this was a botched investigation. And they did absolutely nothing until after a verdict was determined. They were fully aware of these issues long before the defense got a hold of them, and they were completely okay with strolling Proctor up there, knowing all these issues exist, and not say or do a thing, and that is wrong on so many levels. They are absolutely going to make an example out of Proctor and talk about rebuilding trust, while at the same time hoping everybody forgets. They were well aware of all these issues, and not once did someone step in. Not one time did anyone Proctor was reported to step in and say, hey, I'm seeing some inconsistencies here. Like I say, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You can let me know down in the comments below because that's how an open conversation works. But don't think for a second Proctor didn't have somebody he was reporting to. And is that guy he was reporting to being raked over the coals right now? Honestly, I highly doubt it. In fact, I would almost bet that guy's standing somewhere right beside that interim colonel and pretending he didn't know Proctor was a turd, and everyone else above him's pretending like they didn't know that he didn't know. Absolutely everybody above Proctor right now is pretending they didn't know this investigation was botched. I mean, is there any other creator pointing this out? And if they are, let me know down in the comments below. Because Proctor isn't the only problem here. And the only reason any of this is being brought to light is because of what came out at trial that we're all aware of. But MSP has been long, long, long aware of all these issues, of all these problems. And it is absolutely absurd that they waited until this particular jury was done before they decided to speak publicly. Their actions are a slap in the face of justice in my own opinion, and I can't see it any other way. But it is completely clear to me that that car didn't do what they're saying it did. And in my own opinion, that is all we found out. I will commend MSP for attempting to make this thing right publicly. Those first few steps when you identify a problem are often the hardest to do. But this issue they're saying they have with Proctor goes well above Proctor. And it has for the longest time. And the fact they waited till the end of the trial to make this decision to remove Proctor should have everybody speculating if law enforcement has got the right suspect in the case or cases they're following right now. Justice is blind and feelings aren't facts. Happy 4th of July everyone, or I hope you had a safe 4th of July depending on when this video gets out there or when you watch it. Y'all be safe now.